Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. And we're going to be looking at past, present, and future energies for you in love, as well as the energies between you and the person that you are or will be dealing with. Keep in mind that these readings will not resonate for every Aries watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in, Aries. Spirit Angels guides. Messages, guidance, please, for Aries, okay? Regarding love for Aries. Hmm, six of wands, okay. It's looking good so far. For Aries spirit. What does Aries need to know regarding love? Does Aries need to know? Okay, past energy is justice, Libra energy there, page of swords in the present, and the hermit, Virgo energy in the near future. All right, Aries, what I see here is some sort of information or communication that's going to be happening that you're going to be thinking about or will have to think about. On your end, we have the chariot and the strength card, cancer and Leo energy there. And for your person, we have the three of cups and the magician. Okay. Overall energy is the queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. The Queen of Pentacles tends to already be in a commitment of some sort, or this could be referencing um, someone wanting to be with their ideal partner because the Queen of Pentacles is like the partner that has everything, in my opinion. Very successful, very stable. The Queen of Pentacles has a lot to offer. She is business savvy. She is um, secure. So we'll see. Let's get some current for Aries. I want to clarify the overall energy first before I pull the energy oracle. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Hmm. I'm not loving this energy. Three of Wands. Yes. Can I get one more, please, for the Queen of Pentacles? Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles spirit. Why is this Queen of Pentacles the overall energy? Aries to tower. See, I knew it. I don't like this energy. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There's something going on here with, I believe, a particular person, Aries. I don't think this is you. And I'm wondering if this is your person. Or a third person. Because the Three of Cups is here. Seven of Cups in the Tower, I think of someone making a surprising, shocking, unexpected decision. And the Four of Pentacles is a card about holding on to something, holding on to something you value, protecting something, guarding something. So I feel like when I see all of these energies together, <laughs> I think someone makes a choice to benefit themselves and it might be shocking or unexpected. Um, let's hope I'm wrong and it's something else, but this is just the energy I'm picking up right away. And the five of swords does not make me feel any better. This card does not give me a warm and fuzzy feeling <laughs> because it's a car, a card mainly about failure and deception. So, you know, conflict, someone taking advantage of another person. So I'm not loving this energy, but I have hopes, Aries, because you have justice in the recent past. And justice is something that's fair, balanced, something that is fair to you. Let's get the energy oracles out here. There's a lot of major arcanas on this um, table right now. 
And that always signifies like major shifts in energy, major lessons learned, major decisions. And your person's definitely making something happen because they have the magician. And you are making moves of some sort because you have the chariot. So I feel like there's a lot going on here when it comes to love, but Spirit, can I get some more insight, please, on the energies between Aries and this other individual? Tell me about the energies for Aries regarding love. Okay. Tell me about the energies for Aries regarding love. Pure seduction. Hidden motives. See, something's up. Something's up here, Aries. Don't know what's going on, but I feel like someone made a mistake and is trying to cover it up. Or someone desires something in secret. The inner voice energy is at the bottom of the deck. This is um, like the high priestess. Something's up. Something is up and I don't like it. Okay, let's clarify before I overthink this. Spirit, tell me about justice. Oh my gosh, there's the five of swords. Okay, Aries, I don't think, you know, if someone is trying to take advantage of you, advantage of a situation, if someone's playing dirty, because that's like my playing dirty card here with the five of swords, it's not going to work out in their favor. It's going to work out in your favor. Tell me about justice. King of swords. Okay. And then the three of cups. See, I feel like this is about a third party or another person. And the king of swords tells me, now that I see it with the page of swords, you're going to find out something, Aries. You're going to get to the bottom of something. And I think it's going to cause a tower. Three of Cups has come out twice, so I don't believe in coincidences. Something's up here. It could also be like a friend that you can't trust. There's someone around you you can't trust. And if this isn't you, it's your person. There's someone around them that they can't trust. But I think this is all going to come to a head, <laughs> especially with the King of Swords here. The King of Swords, he is like the investigator, just like the Queen of Swords. They get to the bottom of things and they're the king of swords is not a really emotional person they don't let emotions get in the way and neither does justice justice is essentially about removing the emotions so that you can make a fair decision so i feel like whatever this is someone cannot ignore it tell me about the page of swords Tell me about the page of swords strength uh leo energy what was i gonna say scorpio tell me about page of swords tell me about the page of swords five of pentacles oh my goodness tell me about the page of swords yeah okay three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck um, I think something's coming in, some sort of information or message, Aries. And it's going to be something, it's probably something unexpected because these two are the fastest knights and they kind of just show up, you know. Um, I also get, Aries, that you're going to make like a snap decision, snap judgment here. It's like when this information comes in with the Knight of Swords, someone's like, okay, I know what I'm going to do about that. Almost like an impulsive decision. I'm also getting that someone might... Um, maybe their emotions get the better of them here. But with strength, it's like someone is trying to fight this or perhaps re re um, remain in control, remain level-headed... You know, even if your impulse is to do something right away, for example, I'm picturing someone that they find something out or they see something on social media and they start picking up the phone to call someone and like cuss them out, right? <laughs> but they stop themselves right before the, the call goes through. 
almost as if to say, you know, calm down. Don't overreact. And you have strength. So I think this is you. You're the one receiving this information. You're the one figuring something out. I feel like this is very difficult for you because I feel like whatever you found out, I don't know, it, it's almost like you feel abandoned or you feel like you've lost something. I, I almost feel like you don't know what to do. Like, like you, your first instinct is to cuss someone out or to say something or do something right away, like get the keys to your car. But you stop yourself. And it's like, let me, let me really figure this out. Some of you, this is like online. Something happens that with the Page of Swords, for me as a reader, the Page of Swords can be like, you see something on social media. Or you see something with your own eyes. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Wands. This is like overwhelming for you. Whatever you find out, this is overwhelming. This is surprising. I think you're very hurt or just you really don't know what to do. What do I do with this information, you know? And it could even be that some of you feel like you have to keep this to yourself. Or, you know, and, and, and that could be for many reasons, but I'm, you know, just an example. Maybe you need more, you, you, you have, you've seen something with your own eyes, but you need proof. And so you need to spend some time in that situation to get your proof while you're hurting, right? My poor Aries. I don't know what this is, but if anybody can handle this, it's you, Aries. <laughs> Tell me about the hermit. I feel like the hermit is like, someone's trying to figure out what to do next. Someone has withdrawn to really think about their next steps. Some of you, this is you saving money in secret. I don't know why, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing someone saving money somewhere. Tell me about the hermit. Yeah, death, Scorpio energy. Some of you are like, something needs to change or end. What am I going to do? And if this isn't you, Aries, of course you can flip this. This could be your person that's going through this. Tell me about the Hermit, the star, Aquarius energy. You know, I find it fascinating too that in the beginning, while I was clarifying, not a lot of major arcana is there other than the tower, strength. And then now we have these two major arcanas here with the Hermit. The star, hope, faith, healing. It's like someone's hoping that things will work out here. Trying to keep the faith, hoping for the best. Tell me about the hermit. Yeah, the queen of swords in the world. Yeah, someone is thinking about the future. About ending a cycle and beginning another one. And the queen of swords, again... This is a decision based on logic, not emotion, based on, you know, someone being tough. Someone's being tough, has healthy boundaries or has put boundaries, is thinking logically, is thinking uh, with their, you know, analyzing, being intelligent, planning. The Queen of Swords with the Hermit, this is like the planner because the Hermit is all about what do I truly want? Where do I want to go from here? And the Queen of Swords is like, this is what you're going to do. Bam, 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 bam. You know? So whatever is happening here, whatever this is that's going on here, whatever you found out, you're going to do something about it. And I think that's why you have the chariot, Aries, because you're thinking about the moves that you need to make. But your person's also making moves of their own. So we'll have to see what the heck this is about.
Spirit, can you tell me more about this situation, this connection, the energies for Aries in love? Second half of May. What do we need to know about what's going on here for Aries? What do we need to know, Spirit, about what's going on here for Aries? Lovers, a partnership of some sort, toil and labor, working hard, and imprisonment. Interesting. I feel like someone, that's why someone's over here, um, yeah, bad health. This is like that Ten of Wands. So I feel like someone feels a bit stuck. That's why at first, you your first instinct is to react, but you stop yourself because you, it's not so simple. You can't just, you have to be smart about this, about whatever you find out. It's about a connection. It's about a person that you've been romantically involved in. It's about a third party, perhaps. Courthouse marriage. Okay, it could be something dealing with someone's marriage or divorce. Because when I think of marriage and courthouse, I think divorce proceedings or an actual marriage. Someone could have hit that they were married. Someone could have said that they were going to divorce and they haven't even started the process. Someone could have said, I'm going to marry you, Aries. And you, you found out that that was a lie or there was something there that you couldn't, uh, you know, someone else was in the way or there was you know, someone that was unfaithful to you. Be very careful, Aries, because there's someone around you that you cannot trust. And I don't know if this is necessarily the person you're with, the person you're married to. I don't know if it's that person that is deceiving you or someone else around you. This could be somebody that is like a friend of yours. Let's say you have a perfectly good connection and you find out that one of your friends is trying to get with your person, you know? <laughs> it could be something like that too. Let's get down to your energies. Spirit, can you give me some insight into the energies between Aries? And this other person. Tell me about Aries. And this other person. Aries, I have you on one side and your person on the other. Feel free to flip these energies if they resonate more for you. If you're enjoying the reading, uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Alright, tell me about Aries. What do we need to know about the energy that Aries is bringing to this connection? Oh, the otter. You know, Aries, this makes me feel bad because when I think of the otter, the otter is a card about youth, um, a childlike innocence. It's about joy, happiness. But sometimes this card can be interpreted as someone that is a bit young or naive but what i'm seeing here is almost like maybe you were really happy maybe you were enjoying yourself maybe you have had this optimism and then something happened and we have cosmic egg which if i'm not mistaken is all about cycles let me go let me check this out yeah, completion, harmony, experiencing self-realization, a sense of contentment and openness. The journey is complete, but it does not end. Yeah, I feel like this might be a lesson to you. Aries, or this was meant to happen to set you up for a whole new cycle. Tell me about the person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with. Tell me about this other person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with. The whale. Also, there could be an age difference here. Now, the whale has a lot of depth. They tend to collect, you know, wisdom as they age, as they grow older. 
I'm starting to think that there is a age difference for a lot of you though. Okay, let's get down to this because the whale is not someone that would necessarily be a deceptive person. Queen of Cups, okay, intuition, compassion, kindness, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Hmm. Another uh, message I'm getting here with this whale is almost like this person was old enough to know better. Let's see. Let's clarify. Tell me about the chariot with strength. Tell me about the chariot with strength. Yep, Ace of Wands. So you're looking ahead, Aries. You're looking ahead. Headed towards a new beginning here. Four of Cups. Okay. Tell me more. Interesting. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. I think that there's something, um, yeah. Aries, okay. I think you were meant to find out whatever it is that you found out. As difficult as it was, you needed to know the truth. I think that this is setting you towards a cycle that you don't necessarily want to head. It's like, you know you have to push forward, but you wish you didn't. You wish that you didn't have to start over or start a new beginning. But I think what's in store for you is something else. Something better, something, a, a true opportunity. It's like you're being steered. And some of you, you might even be closed off to this new opportunity because are you, all you're thinking about is leaving or changing direction. Tell me about this tower. I'm going to jump up here to this tower. Spirit, what can you tell me about this tower? Page of Wands, what can you tell me about this tower? What can you tell me about this tower? King of Cups, Two of Cups. Interesting. I feel like something's, yeah, something's definitely happening in a partnership here. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I think this is a necessary tower. Hmm. Okay, so I can interpret this in a few ways. One way, one way that we can interpret this tower is now that you found out the truth, you confront someone and they have to choose. And I feel like some of you, this person might choose you. We'll see when we get to their energy. Or you say something like, I'm not going to stay here and deal with this BS. I'm headed in that direction. You can stay here. You can join me. But I'm not staying here for you. And they decide to go with you. Another thing that I see here is, a, is um, unfortunately, a, a breakup. And the Page of Wands is someone that kind of takes risks. And it could get them in trouble. And I feel like this is someone that you could have cared about. I see that as well. There's a lot of ways to interpret this because of the other energies on the board. You know, I could tell you, though, that someone was not telling you the truth or wasn't being truthful because of that five of swords and justice i feel like justice appears when something's not right you know something's not right so justice is here to right the ship okay let's jump into your person's energy tell me about the three of cups and the magician Tell me about the Three of Cups and the Magician. Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Three of Cups and the Magician. The Hangman. Interesting. The Hangman with the Magician. They're like opposite energies. Tell me about the Three of Cups and the Magician. Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups and the Magician. There's the Queen of Pentacles again. 
with the Three of Cups. Can I get one more for the Three of Cups and the Magician? The Fool, Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone that was dragging their feet, Aries. And I think they're going to take a risk here with the Fool to join you. Okay, but for some reason, I feel like you're waiting for them with the hangman. This person could have a long-term com commitment or a family situation. I think this person could have been dragging their feet and you call their bluff. You were like, I'm not gonna be waiting around because I found out that you haven't even started the process of such and such. Or I found out that you haven't booked the plane ticket or you haven't um, moved out of the house or you haven't done this, you haven't done that. So I don't believe you. And then it's like you force this person to make a choice. I see that as a possibility here. Because you're ready to move. You're ready to end whatever it is. It's almost like you're ready to cut your losses. Tell me about the fool. Tell me about the, f actually, let me get this deck. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here, spirit? Why is the fool here? Ace of wands, yeah, I feel like this is them telling you, I'll take care of it. Tell me about the fool, I'll join you. Oh, see, but there's the Seven of Swords. I don't like that energy. And that's why probably the hangman is there. Tell me about the Fool. Death, Scorpio energy. And the Knight of Cups. Okay, so I think this person is freaking out because you're telling them, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I don't have patience for this anymore. I know you haven't been honest with me. And I honestly don't have to be here. And this person's like, but wait, no, um, I'm going to do what you said, or I'm going to do what I told you I was going to do from the beginning. And I feel like you're going to be like, okay, well, show me, and then I will stay. Otherwise, I'm leaving still, you know? So I think that this person, that's what's happening. I feel like you're make, you're giving them an ultimatum, 